Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Cody Vondell and today we're looking at a case study. So my friend, Adi Shankar, creator of the Bootleg Universe, always a pleasure working with him. He recently hit me up. Uh, he sent me a graphic of one of my own album covers and asked me to do something very similar for the Bootleg Universe brand, just a fun social media post. So I got to work in Photoshop and After Effects. This is what I came up with. And today we're gonna break down the steps that I went through to come up with this. Before we get started, just gotta say thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It means a lot to me that the work that I'm doing on screen is helping you with your design process. And if you're working along with me on screen or using some of the templates that I sell on Etsy, please make sure to hop on our Discord. We have an amazing community of graphic designers over there. We're sharing music, memes, resources, works in progress, all kinds of tips and tricks. It's a very dope community that I would love for you to be a part of. Let's take a moment really quick and check out what everybody's been working on. As always, y'all are crushing it. And uh, if you're not a part of the community, I would love to see you over there. If you wanna support my channel, make sure to head over to my Etsy. You can pick up all kinds of holographic stickers. I have pins, patches, t-shirts, hats, and of course, graphic design templates to help you with your design process. And if you like my intro, outro, background music, I create it all. Just search Cody Vondell on Spotify or your favorite streaming service. And you can also catch me on SoundCloud or Bandcamp. And of course, at Cody Vondell on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and break it down in Photoshop and then we'll hop over into After Effects and finish it up. So this is a website layout that we didn't end up using, but I like this design. So we're going to make a brand new Photoshop document and put all those layers in there. And uh, right now we're just going to use this black market CD case mock-up to kind of get a basic idea of what we want the final product to look like. Um, essentially, we want to have a old school CD case, but we want this augmented hyper-reality hologram kind of floating in front of it. But right now we're just gonna design a basic CD case. So we're just getting things looking right. And what we're gonna do is when we get this design finished, we're going to export the separate parts of this CD case um, as PNG files. So we'll have like the front case, the CD design, the CD itself, the backing of the case and all that kind of stuff. And we'll bring all those PNG files into their a brand new Photoshop document so that we can pretty much import two Photoshop documents into After Effects, animate them separately, and then bring them into one final composition. So we just got the design approved by Addy. Everything was cool. And we've pretty much set all these up these are all the different PNGs that I exported all into one brand new Photoshop document. And here we are in After Effects. And we're gonna go ahead and start masking Addy's name. Just adding some keyframes in there and repositioning that object. And let's use our Easy Ease In tool. That's always, uh, always makes things look a little bit smoother. And one thing, a recurring element on all of these uh, little pieces in this particular design, we're gonna have all of them blinking on and off. And in each corner, we'll, we'll, want, we'll want some at 100% and some at 0% so that we kind of get this going back and forth as they're blinking kind of look. After we get a few, a few more of these keyframes, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The cool thing is because we're kind of, this is a recurring style on all these elements, we can just copy those keyframes from these layers onto our uh, layers that we're going to get to momentarily. And it just makes things so much easier. It's, it's a real breeze when you can just copy and paste stuff. So as you can see, that is fully animated, looking pretty cool. I guess really quick, we'll uh, make this line kind of expand from the center out, that looks cool. 
So let's go ahead and actually really quick these lines in Photoshop. Let's copy this layer, bring it back here, merge them, but make sure it retains the same name that it had when you originally imported it into After Effects. That's very important. But it allows you to make changes to the layer on the fly in Photoshop and then automatically reads updates in After Effects. So it's pretty cool. So that's how we're uh, getting that kind of read out there, just masking that line. We made, the, uh, we made that layer a little bit longer in Photoshop. And we'll do that again uh, here in a minute with a barcode uh, down in the right hand corner, the bottom right corner. So this little circle should be pretty simple. We're just gonna make it rotate. Uh, I'm sure there's probably cooler things we could do, but because it's so small, we'll just have that rotating. Again, we're copying and pasting the keyframes from previous layers onto these just to make them, the layers kind of blink on and off and uh, adding this mask onto this barcode. Really quick, let's hop back into Photoshop, copy that barcode, drag that layer behind it, merge them. It's very important that the layer retains the exact same name that it had when you originally ex uh, imported it into After Effects. So right now we're just going through and just keyframing all the uh, little, little objects to turn on and off. That's pretty much the basic outline. It's all looking really good. So uh, let's get that, um, the frame of the typography looking cool, like it, it's opening up and extending. We're going to use this stock uh, glitch video. Uh, use a displacement map on our text to uh, make it look all cool and glitchy. Something like that is looking really nice. And what we can do is just kind of, once we get our keyframes looking cool, just to make it extra glitchy in certain parts, like it's just kind of glitching out a little bit. We'll copy those keyframes, paste them in over here and just make them look really nice and comfortable. Maybe we'll have it glitch out like three different times, something like that. Using our easy ease in tool and all that kind of stuff, making things look extra smooth. That's looking great. So we're gonna open up a brand new composition and we're gonna drag that previous composition into this one. We're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it and we're going to add a Gaussian blur so we get that really cool glowing effect. And we'll copy that displacement uh, map layer, the, uh, the glitchy stock video. And we'll put it in here as well so we just get extra glitch by using that displacement map. And let's go ahead and import the CD case and get the basic setup over here. <clears throat> I think we're gonna have to turn the saturation down on the CD case so that the hologram in front of it's a little bit more legible. Bring it down like 40%, something like that. That's looking cool. And let's go ahead and start animating the CD back here. So the way we've set this up, it's not a real 3D object. It's Photoshop layers, but by turning them all on 3D, by hitting that little cube, we're essentially going to be able to make things rotate back and forth. By not having it fully rotate all the way around, that, that would totally give it away that it's not real 3D. But by having it go from like a negative 15 rotation to like a positive 15 back and forth kind of bouncing, you're not gonna be able to tell. Um, and the reason being is because each of these layers that we exported as PNGs and that we layered correctly on, on this Photoshop document, we're going to put a little bit of space in between each one. So for example, the front cover will be the frontmost layer. Um, back behind that would be the CD design, then the CD itself. And behind that would be the back cover design. And the final one would be the back cover. Um, all these elements having a little bit of space in between them in 3D gives the faux 3D effect. And I think I had an extra CD layer in here that I didn't need that was throwing things off and uh, making a little bit of a mess. So we're just gonna kill that little extra layer real quick. So yeah, just uh, making sure that there's just the right amount of space, but just by going to the position, um, we're like going between like 65 to 50, somewhere in there. So one layer 65, the layer behind that's 60, the layer behind that's 55, layer behind that's 50 uh, on the position. Th that, that just creates a little bit of space in between each layer so that it really sort of has a 3D feel. Um, so now the last thing we really have to do is merge these two um, compositions together. We're gonna play with the curves on that CD, uh, CD case a little bit and uh, maybe play around with like the placement of the hologram. But overall, this is uh, looking pretty cool. We've, we've copied the same keyframes um, from those layers in the CD case onto the hologram itself, so it rotates. And uh, 
yeah, with all these different effects put together, we get something like this. It looks really cool. So that wraps us up. These are all the steps that I went through starting in Photoshop, ending in After Effects to create this new visual for Addy Shankar's bootleg universe. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of fun stuff planned for the summer that you do not want to miss out on. I have a brand new custom font on the way. We are expanding the best three font series and I have a ton of new vector templates on the way as well. Thank you all so much. I'm looking forward to talking to you on Discord and I will catch you in my next video. Take care.